Excited. Excited. Insufficient output. Keep your ears. 
Target sighted. Enemies up ahead. Excited. Threat detected ahead. Small organic life form detected.
Good bunny. Initiate emergency protocol. See, we will eventually reach Kato. Enemies up ahead. Yeah. <laughs> 
required. Hang back. I got this. Soul Reaper? I keep seeing them in my dreams. They're scaring me. In my dreams, I see a snowy mountain, and in flood of them come from out of nowhere. Can you beat up the Reaper somehow? Please, help me. You believe me, don't you? Everyone else. My bad. That looks like people from town are headed this way. Any clue who they are? Kato City Guard, I presume. Would you kindly fall back, Your Highness? Halt! Who goes there? And what business have you on this side of Mount Cotorinth? We mean no harm. We are but travelers wishing to return to the capital. Kato has closed its gates to all outsiders. I strongly suggest you return from whence you came. Now be gone. What? But we just finished our descent! You can't send us right back! Be silent! Either return to the west, or return with us as prisoners. Lest you wish to rot in a cell, I suggest you leave now! Save your breath. The knights of this realm hear naught but the sound of their own voices. What was that? You didn't hear? I said the only weapon these pompous blowhards can wield is hot air. What do you think you're doing? Bastard! One does not impugn the city guard without consequence! Impudent knaves! You'll regret this! 
Guys, they're calling for backup. <sighs> Have we no recourse but to reveal that we're with the crown? Before that, Albert, do you not recognize that armor? I must admit, I never expected to see your face this far west. Uh, Theo! Commander? Well met, Sir Albert Bergholm. Stretching our legs with a jaunt over Galcalemthus, are we? Bergholm? The one from the King's Guard? Yes, the very same. Therefore, I believe an apology is in order. Please, forgive us! Water under the bridge. I must also apologize for my colleagues' uncouth behavior. <laughs> I merely showed them all the respect their station commands. As ill-humored and sharp-tongued as always, Maester Felgreed. <laughs> it's a wonder you deign to join hands with anyone at all. But enough small talk. Follow me. My compatriots did speak the truth about Kyle. Please don't go about repeating this to anyone. The rot is taking root here. Do you know the cause of the outbreak in Kado? A blackguard who is purposefully spreading the disease. Hence why these forces have been mobilized. Purposefully spreading? Correct. Just so happens that as the first townspeople fell ill, rumors of a young woman clad in strange garb began to circulate. She is the reason I'm here. Your companions, too, are dressed in rather unique attire. All things considered, I can understand why my men were so quick to engage you. A woman in strange garb? Wait, do you mean Chloe? I just want to hang out with all the boys. Ah, good to know we may have a new lead. Accompany me to my office. Now then, you two. Mind introducing yourselves? I believe I'm long overdue an introduction. Well, aren't you self-important? As I've explained before, we are in pursuit of a woman in peculiar garb. And to my eye, it would seem you bear some connection to her. Oh, and what if I did? Then I would take you in for questioning. I should have already done so the moment I laid eyes on you. You are too suspicious by half to keep the company of one such as her. Enough of this, cousin! Cousin? cousin? You overstep your bounds. You will treat these two with utmost civility. Someone feels strongly. Do you, Albie? 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 In truth, we would not have made it nearly this far without their assistance. And can we leave that nickname in the past where it belongs? <laughs> Did not expect that. Even if you say they are to be trusted, who am I to believe otherwise? Hmm, I suppose a maester wouldn't tag along with just anyone. Speaking of your party, am I correct in assuming you're Maester de Forge's daughter? Whoa, you know who I am? I happen to be a member of the Kingsguard when His Majesty visited Delric. 
for your father's funeral. Oh, sorry to be blunt, but who are you exactly? I get that you know Albert and Leticia, but they've never mentioned you before. I am Theo Clemrath, son of Duke Lambert Clemrath, brother to His Majesty the King, cousin to Princess Leticia. Clemrath? Wait, Theo, as in Commander Theo of the Assyrian Naval Forces? Uh, I'm so sorry! There's no need to be, I assure you. Any friend of Albie and Letty's is a friend of mine. However, I can't be friends with those whose names I don't yet know. So, would you care to rectify the situation? I am Raymond Lawrence. And I'm Elena. Well then, Ray, Elena. I think it's high time we got to talking. I'm sure there's much to discuss. If it weren't for Letty, I'd think you'd lost your minds. I know it's crazy, but that woman you're after could be one of my crewmates. And if it is, there's no way she's the source of the rot. Though I'm inclined to believe you, our political situation with the Empire complicates matters. Residents of Baldar Citadel are evacuating in droves, seeking safe harbor in the capital in Kato. Many suspect that a number of Imperial spies have used this exodus to slip unseen into our lands. The People's Guard is up. Anything outside the norm is viewed askance. So the Commons have seen this woman, then? Eyewitness reports claim she was spotted near the Tynes. Soon after the encounter, the rot took hold here, to which many and more succumbed. As much as I would like to investigate further, I can't risk it. The mountains are far too dangerous. Is there truly not to be done? Yes, as it stands. We are severely shorthanded. You saw how I was the only one who responded to your commotion with the guards. Well, if you require helping hands... Then you're in luck, because you've come to the right people. We'll investigate for you. Of course. Theo, Nina and Elena have made the discovery of the century. They have found a cure for Helgar. Hey, what? Uh, and it just so happens the herbs we need can be found on that mountain. Commander, I know the place is dangerous, but could you allow us access to the Tynes? Please, cousin. How can I say no? It's not every day Letty thinks to use the word please with me. I would like to offer you something in return, though. Perhaps I can make some headway in the search for your comrade. So, what should I know about her? Well, her name's Chloe Canaris, and she'll probably be dressed like us. What sorcery is this? She's a jumpy one, so no wanted posters or anything like that, got it? As you wish. Likewise, refrain from pulling that trick again. The townspeople are on edge enough as it is. Haven't heard from Welch in a while, huh? Maybe we ought to swing by and check in on things sometime. Despite her stalwart appearance, Letty is the princess of this kingdom. Keep her out of harm's way, will you? Let's try stopping by the infirmary. Target sighted. What? What that idiotic grin off your face?
bet it's sitting You might as well give up right now. Not bad. Not bad. Misery. Eh, I'm good. My father always told me patience is a virtue. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. 
Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Time to put you out of your misery. My goodness, a large dick. You just gotta stop. Target sighted. Most of the royalty in this kingdom are rather friendly. Can't believe the rot's already taken hold here. At least it's not as bad as Rythel. city is in Cousin Theo's capable hands. We have an investigation to carry out on Mount Cotterinth. We're all set, then let's beat feet to Mount Cotterinth. They said it was to the north, so no boat rides for us. Seriously doubt the woman they saw was Chloe. We need to get to Mount Cotterinth, and fast. Sweet! You carry yourself what you've got it all. You might as well give up right now. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad.
Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Fair, you cheated! I'll get you next time, just you wait. in the same manner witnessed in Rifle? Wait! Sweet! Target sighted. Tails between our legs after every attempt. Perhaps you could contend with it? It does me great shame to request such a thing. But the safety of the people must be thought of first. Have you met the Asoa crazed? Mount Cotterinth, hmm? It looms over the northern part of Cotterinth. Have you ever been, Uncle Midas? It is a veritable treasure trove for medicinal herbs. I have been there once or twice to forage for them. Initiate emergency protocol. <laughs> Destroy. <laughs> Insufficient outlook. <laughs> 
neutralized. Insufficient output. Warning. Energy levels low. Insufficient output. Say goodbye. There's a legend about these mountains, you know. Has to do with an enchantress and a prince. I'm listening. Yep. <clears throat> a long, long time ago, when Mount Cotterin was part of the Kingswood, a beautiful enchantress fell in love with a young prince. But their love was not meant to be, and for attempting to beguile the prince, the enchantress was sentenced to death by a thousand arrows. With her dying breath, she cursed these lands, twisting the branches of trees into sharp, deadly arrowheads, and befouling the air with a scent of rot and decay! The end! Oh, is that all? You're telling me we're headed right for some type of cursed mountain? It's not really cursed, it's just a story to keep kids away. The mountains here are really dangerous, more dangerous than most. People have come up with all sorts of tall tales about them. Even so, the part about the miasma gives me pause. There may be poisonous flora releasing pollen, or fissures leaking volcanic gases. We should be careful. Ahoy! <laughs> Um, this is Welch, the beautiful merchant magnate with genius level smarts. There is something I require at this time. When you have a moment, please come to my house in Delric. I will talk to you then. Threat detected ahead. <laughs> Energy levels low. Insufficient output. Destroy. Warning. Energy levels low. Fire it. Destroy it. Another day. Now this is exactly the bustling scene I expect from a mining town. The way Dr. Eason talks about it, apparently it's me, hardly Mr. what it used to be, it though. Somehow what are they, they mining, anyway? Metals. Mostly copper. They used to find gold way back when, though. This whole town this got its start when all sorts of people moved in, hoping to mine some for themselves. A city born of a gold rush, eh? Of course, the gold's long gone these days. But the mine still has its draw. You can see those big crystal-like rocks poking out of the walls, right? Those rocks are called translucent gypsum. They're used to make all sorts of stuff. Huh. That's gypsum? Not all of it, but more or less, yeah. The gypsum that gets mined and processed here in Delric is so pure that it gets shipped to the royal capital and is used for its roads and structures. Wow. And here I thought it was some kind of precious gem. They are. The really big crystals do get used in the stained glass windows of the palace and the temple, sure. But there are all different types of gypsum here, and all of them can be used in a lot of different ways. Keeps the people who work these mines pretty busy. Unbelievable. 
So this village is kind of like the kingdom's unsung hero then, huh? <laughs> well, feel free to sing their praises. Apparently, my father was said to take great pride in working as an iatromancer for the people of this town. Ah, Dr. Eason told you? Yep, sure did. And I'm thinking I can follow in his footsteps and take up his mantle someday. Following in your dad's footsteps, eh? Yeah, I know the feeling. 